Hi there, this is Eugene Blanchard and I'm going to do a really quick video on Bluetooth using the uh, Bluetooth media player. Alright, so very first thing, I guess we want to get our Bluetooth devices out, so we'll click over here, go to home, and what we're going to do is use our Bluetooth portable music player, which is over here. I'll pop this guy up. And then we want to have a speaker, so here's our Bluetooth speaker. There's two speakers. This is the Bluetooth one and this is the home speaker. We want the Bluetooth speaker. So we want to connect these two. Uh, so we can click on either one. We'll click on here. Uh, we'll go to config and we'll click on Bluetooth. And what we'll see is that there's nothing happening here. So we'll do a discover. It's discovered the other, uh, the Bluetooth speaker is called IoT1 unpaired. So I'll, I'll bring this over here and then I'll pair it and we got a, a line on here. Uh, later on what happens when they're unpaired you'll see that they're, they'll be advertising this will turn to kind of a, a purple. And that, um, now if we go back to our specifications here it says uh, usage on here uh, it'll enable the portable music player by pressing alt click. So I'll go over here and I will do alt alt click and now what you'll hear is music is playing. Trickets. Let's bring this up again and personally I don't like the uh, cricket sound so I'll just spread this out a bit and we're going to the advanced mode down in the corner so advanced programming. Uh, there's two um, scripts running. There's a portable music player that's running right now. It's running because it's got the asterisk and we have the portable music player that's not running. The difference is this one is JavaScript and this one is Python. So we're going to play with the uh, uh, first one which is our JavaScript. Click on here, open it up and I'm going to go down and I'm going to see where this cricket music's coming from. And what we see here is it says sounds cricket.wave. So this is our crickets.wave. So where is that file? Well what this actually does and this is after a lot of research is that this gives it the path to your desktop PC. So what we have to do is we'll bring up our uh, file browser here, right? I'm on this PC, I go to my C drive. On C drive, I go down to program files. On program files, I look up Cisco Packet Tracer. Under Cisco Packet Tracer, here's the sound folder. So if I open up the sound folder, what I see is crickets. So this is where the music's coming from. So what I can do is I can put in another uh, song. It has to be a WAV file. If you notice, this type is WAV file. And I put a song called aggressive.wav in here. So I just copied and pasted it in. Uh, so what I can do now is I can change this to aggressive. And what I'll do is I'll stop it, I'll run, and now when I go Alt click, it plays the song aggressive. Now, uh, what, what's kind of neat with this is that uh, if you have some JavaScript skills or Python skills, what you can do is you can start programming this and program uh, a list of songs to play a playlist in. Um, you can set it up so that maybe on the keypad uh, one plays uh, crickets, two plays aggressive, or, or three plays a different song, or it cycles through. Uh, I've tried playing with this line here. Uh, I copied it and I thought well maybe after aggressive finishes I can play the next one. What it did is whatever the last song is that's what it plays. If you just try to copy this complete line and follow it. Another thing I thought is that maybe I could put uh, my songs in a list like this and it would stop and play but it just crashed the system and then music was playing even though Packet Tracer wasn't running anymore for a little while till the buffer fell out. So basically that's a, a really quick and dirty way of uh, creating some music within Packet Tracer. That's not crickets. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching.